The power of positive emotions. Money is shy and elusive. It must be wooed and won by methods not unlike those used by a determined lover in pursuit of the girl of his choice. And coincidental as it is, the power used in the wooing of money is not greatly different from that used in wooing a maiden. That power, when successfully used in the pursuit of money, must be mixed with faith. It must be mixed with desire. It must be mixed with persistence. It must be applied through a plan, and that plan must be set into action. When money comes in quantities known as the big money, it flows to the one who accumulates it as easily as water flows downhill. There, exi there exists a great unseen stream of power which may be compared to a river, except that one side flows in one direction, carrying all who get into that side of the stream onward and upward to wealth. And the other side flows in the opposite direction, carrying all who are unfortunate enough to get into it and not able to extricate themselves from it. Downward to misery and poverty. And not able to extricate themselves from it. Downward to misery and poverty. Every man who has accumulated a great fortune has recognized the existence of the stream of life. It consists of one's thinking process, the positive emotions of thought from the side of the stream which carries one to fortune, the negative emotions from the side which carries one down to poverty. This carries a thought of stupendous importance to the person who is following this book with the object of accumulating a fortune. If you are on the side of the stream of power which leads to poverty, this may serve as an oar by which you may propel yourself over into the other side of the stream. It can serve you only through application and use. Merely reading and passing judgment on it, either one way or another, will in no way benefit you. Poverty and riches often change places. When riches take the place of poverty, the change is usually brought about through well-conceived and carefully executed plans. Poverty, need, poverty needs no plan. It needs no one to aid it because it is bold and ruthless. Riches are shy and timid. They have to be attracted. Happiness is found in doing, not merely in possessing. All right, that was the end of that chapter, Mastermind.